Oh, hello YouTube, this is Ai. So this time I'm going to talk to you about Wave C4 and its crossover distortion. This is something that people have known for a very long time and that is why Waves also released the Waves Linear Multiband Compressor. So they first released the Waves C4 and then people complained that it causes crossover distortion. So they released the Waves Linear Multiband Compressor. All right. So, so what does C4 do? It's a multiband compressor and it's uh, one of the most used multiband compressors in the world. If we put the thresholds to zero and then the ranges to zero, it should basically do nothing, right? All right, so let's first bypass the plugin and let's see where the levels are. All right, so that was our mix and it's already compressed. So we don't really even need to use this. So we see that the levels that are at minus nine. So let's turn on C4 and let's see what happens with the levels. So as we saw, the levels increased by about 6 dB. And then if we duplicate this track, and remove C4 from the other track, and then we flip the polarity and check the spectrum analyzer. Yeah, so that is what it causes. It's not nulling out and that is something you should be aware of when you use C4. It's not a bad thing necessarily, but it's something that you just have to know. I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make new videos every week. Thank you for watching and make good music.